Hello everyone, and I thought it would be fun, uh, due to the good response to the review video I did about 77 BC, Twilight of the Republic, to um, start a campaign. Because I have not had the time to do a Let's Play in a little while, so I thought, you know what? Let's play as Pontus. So this is, of course, um, uh, the 77 BC starts in 77 BC, which means that you can play as the greatest Pontic king we know about anyway, Mithridatus the sixth. So of course, um, this is the Pontic kingdom near its peak. So at one point during the Mithridatic Wars conflict, uh, Mithridatus took um, most of Asia Minor, and then invaded uh, Greece, if I'm not mistaken. Um, but in any case, uh, as I mentioned before, 77 BC is kind of built upon the foundations created by Rome Total Realism Platinum Edition. Uh, so the so it preserves Rome Total Realism's auxilia kind of colony building system. And you need these buildings in order to uh, recruit certain units, uh, to kind of integrate uh, provinces, to make it so that they're more economically beneficial, um, more manageable with better public order. So in any case, um, you can see that uh, Pontus's main territory, Sinop, Amisos, and Amasia, are fully integrated. Um, and you've got royal barracks and you know, really nice units recruitable from the start. Um, however, uh, once you get to Trapezus and then Colchis and the Cimmerian Bosporan territories, uh, you only have phase two uh, colonization. And um, of course, this mod, uh, this mod does have, um, uh, what do I want to say? AOR, so we'll be able to recruit um, unique units from the Bosporan settlements and uh, Colchis once we develop those territories a lot. But you can see Pontus has kind of the same problem Armenia does um, at the start of the campaign, which is that you've just taken a bunch of territory, like Armenia has taken Syria, so it's not well integrated into your empire. So you've got to start by doing that, or else you're going to pay for that later. Uh, Pontus also, interestingly, starts out here's Mithridatus the sixth, our friend. Uh, interestingly, Pontus also starts out with no roads anywhere. So I'm going to get started by constructing roads everywhere, because I like having roads. Um, so let's do that. And then once, uh, once I get my economy going a bit, I will um, train a lot more troops then. But for now, uh, you can see the Pontic roster. Uh, this is like the main core of the Pontic roster here. So you've got, you know, basic archers, basic, basic spearmen. Uh, then you got the phalangites, the Pontic phalangites, which are good. Uh, you got the Pontic um, skirmisher cavalry which is not bad. You've got, this is uh, the Spera Ponticoi or like Pontic legionary type infantry. So these guys are going to be kind of the backbone of your infantry forces. However, they take three turns to recruit. So that's a big issue. Um, Pontus, of course, has access to uh, scythed chariots, uh, which are dangerous. And then better uh, Pontic heavy cavalry. Uh, so I would say the the Pontic roster is fairly average. I'd say it's a bit weaker than like the Armenian roster, and its cavalry is definitely is not as good as the um, Parthian roster. So, but you do start out with some good troops here: the Spera Ponticoi and some uh, uh, the Pontic skirmisher cav. So I want to get um, my troops into position here. I also got some Galatians. 
Oh, and Farnakis. I'm going to take Farnakis as well. Um, and we're going to do our best here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to build up this army and then attack Cappadocia. And if I'm not mistaken, um, because I have not played as Pontus in this mod in quite a while, perhaps a decade, um, when you take Cappadocia as Pontus or Armenia, it automatically starts a Mithridatic war with um, the Romans. So, uh, yeah, we're not going to take that lightly. But I want to get more of these kind of backbone infantry troops, so I'm going to train them up in my three core cities where I can train them. And then in my other cities, I can't really uh, recruit that much at the moment. But what I am going to do is... Um, you know what? I think that's all I'm going to do for this turn. Um, just recruit some of those better uh, infantry troops. And then I'll take my current army, besiege Cappadocia. Besiege it slowly. Don't uh, rush into a conflict with Rome. So that'll give me enough time to uh, train up a few more troops, build up the economy, and be ready. Another thing about the campaign here is that um, we are scripted to remain allies with uh, Armenia. Of course, Armenia was um, allied to um, Pontus at this time, uh, the king of Armenia, Tigranes. I want to get map information. You accept? Alliance in Tatters. Um, I think the script is going to make us allies again because the Rome Total War AI is uh, really dumb. But, um, yeah, so that's strange. Asking for map information can destroy your alliance. But in any case, of course, uh, Armenia's uh, king, Tigranes II, was married to Mithridates' daughter, Cleopatra. Uh, so that's why they were they had a very secure alliance at this point So we do have a lot of um, rebel territory uh, Between us and the Romans So that's going to give us kind of a buffer zone. Oh, and in fact uh, Julius Caesar is in Sardis at the start of the campaign. So perhaps we'll fight him Of course Julius Caesar didn't fight Pontus until much later um, historically, a few decades later, or a decade later, I can't remember the year, but, um, yeah, it'll be good to speed up, expedite that conflict between Julius Caesar and Pontus. So, yeah, a couple more turns and we'll have some more Pontic infantry and our roads are all done, which is very nice. Um, okay, so our roads are all done. Very good. That's very good. Happy to see that. Um, you know what? I'll build a shrine to Hercules in Amasia and in Amisos. Oh, there's already a Hercules one in Amisos, okay. And then in Sinope, I'll uh, go for the... I guess I'll go for the stables, because I want to have access to my cavalry recruitment in as many places as possible. So, um, I really want to upgrade the colony building in uh, trapezes but before i do that i think i want to go for land clearance um colchis has land clearance so you know what i'll go for the colony building in uh, colchis and i'll go for the trader in pantica payon and then i'll do the trader in kersonesos as well So yeah, everything is looking pretty good. 
You know what? Perhaps the script only keeps Armenia allied to Pontus if you're playing as uh, a, a, an unrelated faction. So uh, perhaps we'll have a conflict with Armenia. So he's a suitable husband for Dinamis, huh? Yeah, I, ac I accept that. Now, if I go talk to Armenia, will they ally with me again? Because I want to go after the Romans. I want to go uh, west and take Asia Minor. Um, where's my diplomat? Yes, mighty lord. Can't even see him. Oh, he's intrapezis, I guess. Okay. Can we ally? Okay, fine. Uh, they're allied with me again. I guess I, I will never ask them for a map of the kingdom. But uh, in any case, uh, I'll just explore the east with my diplomat. So our Pontic infantry, our good infantry, is now ready. So you know what? I'll send them to uh, Mithridates. So we'll have a lovely royal army of Pontus. Now, um, we've got a trader going in Pantica Payon. So let's get a trader going in uh, Kersonesos. Uh, land clearance and colony building in uh, Colchis, which is good. And we don't have enough money to construct anything in Amisos or Amasia. So hopefully our conquest of Cappadocia and our economic buildings will uh, help us out here. So let's send our diplomat down here a bit. So this is the newly constructed Armenian capital at Tigranokerta. Edessa, Samosata. So if we go down here, uh, we will run into a new faction that's included in 77 BC, the uh, Hasmonean Kingdom. So, um, okay, seems like the Sarmatians are allied with us, which is uh, true. Um, but uh, their army is uh, coming close to me. I don't like that. I don't like that at all. And I don't exactly have the forces necessary to defend against them in the Bosporus and I don't want to have to campaign up here in the steppes but we'll see so let's uh, end the turn okay we are the most advanced faction that's nice and surprising Okay, so the Roman legions have taken Sagalassos from the Pisidians. Pamphylia is also a rebel town. Okay, so our spy is taking a good look at what's going on there in the west. And uh, one more turn before Cappadocia is ours. So that's all nice. And in Amisos, should I go for the paved roads? Or should I save my money? What I probably should do is train some archers because I have a severe lack of missile units. So you know what? I'm going to go for some archers. Okay, there we go. We're going to have some archers ready next turn. Our colony is still under construction. And then I'll, uh, if I have enough money next turn, I'll go for the port, uh, port in Trapezus. Luckily, we have ports in um, our Bosporan territories. So let's uh, end the turn. Ah, uh, Damascus, controlled by the Nabataeans. Let's, uh... Let's enslave the populace of Cappadocia. 
so we can grow our own Pontic territories. Uh, historically, actually, Tigran, the king of Armenia, he took Cappadocia and then resettled the population of five cities uh, to be the population of his new capital at Tigran Okerta. So uh, that's historical to uh, just resettle Cappadocians everywhere. So now we've got a problem. Foreigners have dared to conquer the settlement of Eusebia, which is under Roman protection. Therefore, an army has been sent in order to honor the Treaty of Amicitas that bounds the Senatus Populus C. Romanus and the Kingdom of Cappadocia. So, uh, yes, there is now uh, a Roman legion uh, that's near Eusebia. Oh. A triumphal arch has been erected to celebrate my past victories in, in this region, in Cappadocia. So you know what? Let's go fight the Romans. Let's leave some Peltists here. Or actually, let's leave some Sparabara in Eusebia. Oh, the Romans are neutral right now. Interesting. Let's see what they try to do. I think they're going to attack me. Are interesting, Armenia has allied with Egypt, and Dacia is at war with uh, the Romans. Okay, luckily uh, our economy is not doing that great. I should probably uh, increase my tax rate. So let's do that. Uh, because I do want to upgrade my uh, cities. Because I don't actually have any cities, which uh, smells. And Colchis, can I up the tax rate there? Yes, I can. Pantica Pion, can I do that? Yes, very easily. And Kersonesos, there we go. Okay. So let's see what the Romans plan on doing here. You know what? I'll send some archers and infantry to reinforce. Oh, Amasia is not so happy. Let's make sure they're a little happier. Okay, so the Romans did get a scripted army, but they retreated. And uh, that, you know what? I mean, that's smart of them because my army here was much larger than theirs. And uh, this gives me more time to build up before I go fight the Romans. So you know what? Let's leave the archers in Eusebia. And I'll go take um, Galatia. It's not the route I would have taken, but whatever. So we've got to build up Eusebia here. Let's go for the roads. And then the Pontic... Auxilia, phase one. Now, now we can uh, upgrade our buildings, our uh, cities here. So let's upgrade uh, Amisos first, our capital at the moment. Uh, so let's, um, let's save some money here. Or actually, should I go for the Pontic Auxilia phase three? in uh, trapezes, I think I should. That's what I'm going to do. It, it doesn't make sense for me to have it in um, Colchis, but then not in uh, trapezes. Okay, so now our army is doing well here. Oh, the Romans took Ankara. All right, so let's go for uh, Heraclea Pontica. And now we can upgrade uh, Amasia. That's good. And let's upgrade Sinope as well. Very good indeed. And in... Um, Colchis is almost done with the Phase 3 Auxilia. 
We got our roads completed in Cappadocia. A suitable husband for Princess Gepipiris. Gepipiris. Um, yeah, he looks good. He's a good commander and a good attacker. The Bithynian Bequest. King Nicomedes of Bithynia has died. Having no suitable heir to the, his throne and trying to avoid his kingdom becoming a Pontic region, he has bequested it to the Roman Republic. This has accepted the legacy and sent a... Er, the Romans have accepted it, this and sent a governor to Bithynia. Few people doubt what the reaction of Mithridates of Pontus will be. Uh, let's go for uh, Heraclea Pontica and then... I'll go for Nicomedia. Oh, it seems like Armenia is at war with uh, Parthia now. Yes, mighty lord. To hear is to obey. To hear is to obey. Ah, we found Jerusalem, the capital of uh, the Hasmonean kingdom. Yes, and Sidon as well there. So I'll send my diplomat. Um, should I talk to the Hasmoneans? Perhaps I can make a trade agreement with them. So Eusebia is going for that auxilia building. Uh, Colchis is almost done. Now let's go for the colony buildings in Panticapayon and Kersonesos as well. And we are upgrading our town. So everything is looking pretty, pretty good. Pretty good indeed. So you know what? I'd like to uh, recruit some more cavalry. So let's go for Cappadocian cavalry. We, don't, we have a major lack of uh, medium cavalry at the moment. So let's do that. Let's see if the uh, Bithynians here attack me. Seems like they're not doing that. Okay. Construction complete. Okay, we got the colony building done in uh, Colchis, which is good. And, um, yeah, that unlocks a whole bunch of buildings for us. So perhaps... Huh, I lost money this turn. Interesting. But we will have a profit. Uh, what's going on diplomatically? It seems like Armenia is declaring war on the world. Yeah, Armenia is at war with Rome now. So let's see what happens. Um, I'm content with biding my time here. Will you trade with me, Hasmoneans? Okay. Will you ally with me? All right. How about map information? Okay. Well, they don't have anything to show me with their map information, so not a big deal for them. So I'll send my diplomat to um, to Egypt. Trade rights. How about map information? Okie dokie. Perhaps we can talk to the Nabataeans next. Oh, Kersonesos has expanded, which is very good. Okay, so let's uh, do that. Trapezus. 
Yeah, I think some something happened with the script there, but uh, no, nope, things seem to be okay now. Um, okay, so we're still making the colony there in Trapezus. And in uh, Colchis, let's go for, should we make mines or communal farming? I think we should go for the communal farming uh, because that'll help our population grow and then we can upgrade Dioscurias to a uh, city, a uh, minor city. Okay, now Rome is at war with me. Okay, so our spy here. Let's uh, send our spy to see uh, the other major cities that the Romans have in the area. Seems like only Lycia is not under their control. Bithynia is now under Roman control. So that leaves Pessinus under the control of some galatio -Phrygians. Oh, we have Cappadocian cavalry. I forgot about them. Cavalry take two, uh, two or three turns to recruit here. I actually like that because uh, it just adds some challenge. Hey, I got an army. That's nice, probably because I'm at war with Rome now, so I got a nice reformed kind of uh, Pontic army here. So that's nice. Let's, uh, let's go fight the Romans with this new army. Let's take our generals to help our other Pontic army here. Okay. Yeah, don't auto-manage, please. Yeah, that has to do with some script. Something with the script. Uh, once like once you, you get scripted armies or something, all your cities go to auto-manage. But then you can just uh, undo all of that. Luckily, I was spending every last penny I had, so... Nothing weird went on. Okay, we're getting colonies done. We're going to upgrade our cities. So now our army here is going to go after the Romans in Galatia. And Mithridatus will go after the Romans in Bithynia. Okay. So uh, Eusebia is going to have uh, colony phase one next turn, which is good. Dioscurias is still working on the farms, which is good. You know what? I'm going to lower the tax rate a little bit because I want that city to upgrade. Okay, I can make elite stables, but then actually... I don't think that gives me anything here as Pontus, unfortunately. You know what? Let's go for... Uh, should I upgrade the roads in the capital? That would probably be a smart idea. Actually, I should also um, upgrade my public order here. But you know what? I'm going to go for the paved roads because that'll improve my trade as well. Only a couple turns before Heraclea Pontica surrenders. Uh, the Nabataeans, uh, will you trade with me? How about map information? Okay. 
Okay, seems like the big Bithynian Roman army is arriving. So let's see what they do here. I think I'll be able to handle them, no problem. You know what? I'll move my army to reinforce my other army to reinforce Mithridates. So let's see if we can beat this Roman legion. Um, Amasia, Amasia. Let's uh, let we we've got to upgrade Eusebia. So let's go for the Auxilia Phase Two. And uh, Colchis is doing okay. Sinop is uh, doing okay. You know what? Let's go for the paved roads in uh, Amasia. And I guess some more archers. Are the Romans going to attack? Nope. Uh, let's occupy the settlement. Let's go for Auxilia Phase 1 and then Rhodes. Okay, so we've got two armies here. Uh, why isn't my army reinforcing? I guess I misread the situation. <laughs> but uh, in any case... I think we can take them. So let's take a look at some of the units. General. So this is the Pontic General unit. Nice looking. Again, the... Oh, nice shield there. Again, the, the units in this mod, they look nice. Um, but again, this mod is more about the campaign experience, I would say. So then you've got, uh, again, the heavier Pontic Cavalry here. And I've got the Light Cavalry, the Light Pontic uh, Javelin Cavalry. And these are the standard Pontic uh, Mithridatic Reformed Infantry type units here, the Spada Ponticoi. So let's see if my guys can go toe-to-toe -to -toe with the Romans here. So let's get our Jav Cav, put him on the left. And our generals will uh, support the battle line. So let's set up on the high ground here. Let's put our generals where we want them to go. And you go on the left. And then my Jav Cav will uh, go up on the left there. But these are uh, the heavy Cav is not Skirmisher Cav, so I have to keep that in mind. Now let's see what the Romans have in store for me. Oh, let me, uh, since after all this is a mod showcase, let's, um, no, that's not what I want. I want to unrestrict the camera. There we go. So let's take a look at the Roman units. So these are Roman legionary cohorts here. The best Roman troops. I think we can take him. Oh, wait a minute. I attacked them. So I should go after them. Okay, so let's see. Uh, let's uh, have these guys. You know what? It seems like the Romans... are going for kind of a deep formation there. So let's do a deeper formation for us as well. Let's harass with our cavalry. Let's 
let's reform here. Okay, so the enemy is sending their Cretan archers. So let's uh, get them. Maybe that'll draw out some of their infantry. So they have some Pantodopoi basic infantry. And some Epikuroi. Okay, so they, they wanted to draw out my cavalry, seems like. Or, I don't know if the AI was thinking that way, but that's what happened. Let's go after this general here. They've got some Fimbrian cohorts as well. Let's move up our reserve infantry. And our generals. They'll go support our troops there. Move in Pontic troops. And then our other general will go support the left flank. Okay, reserve infantry. Move in closer. Okay, seems like uh, those guys are running away. Oh yeah, those guys are routing. So cavalry go, run after the routing troops. They have some Thessalian troops as well, uh, cavalry. Okay, let's go after the Thessalian troops there. With our heavy cavalry. There we go, charge down the hill, and our light cavalry will go after the enemy general, who is with this uh, archer unit there. Okay, our heavy cav is doing well. This infantry unit is not. Okay, we gotta bring our generals in closer. Again, combat in um, this mod is fairly standard. Nothing revolutionary. Okay, so our cavalry have handled those guys here. So Speyra Ponticoi, go after this infantry from the flank. General, let's move and support our troops. Oh, our other general charged in. I didn't tell you to charge, go back. Okay, heavy cav, light cav, let's uh, charge the enemy here from the flanks. Okay, let's try to uh, destroy the Roman flank here. Okay, so we've got the Romans surrounded, but yeah, this army here has a weakness, and that weakness is is that my infantry's worse, and uh, Pontus or er, doesn't start out with good cavalry from the start, so that's going to be a bit of a problem here.
but it seems like uh, we're doing okay. Let's take out these Galatians because I don't know what they're doing. Let's move our other general around the back. Okay, our heavy cavalry is taking down these, uh, yeah, enemy levy spearmen. Sounds good to me. Okay, our Pontic infantry is actually doing quite well, all things considered. The enemy Fimbrian cohorts are pretty good. Let's try to charge in somewhat at the flank. Okay, we got him. We got those legionaries. Okay, Spera Ponticoi hit the enemy from the flank there. Okay, we got some Fimbrians to rout. Very good. Let's charge. These Roman Galatians from the from the flank. Okay, we got those guys to rout. Okay, we caused a mass rout there. Very nice. Go after these Fimbrians, please. Okay, so that battle was not so bad. Just like the Second Mithridatic War. Okay, now where else are the Roman troops? Uh, it seems like I'm chasing pretty much all of them. So let's just fast forward and finish off the rest of them. There we go. Not bad at all. So again, our Pontic... Our generals were actually pretty good. I didn't know the Pontic general was that strong. The Parthian general is very strong. The uh, Ueji general, the Armenian general is strong. I didn't know the Pontic general was this good. Uh, again, I haven't played as Pontus in this mod in quite a while. Our um, light cav was very good. 478 casualties inflicted. Probably mostly routing troops. Um, and our infantry, they held the line. They held the line. That was their job. Okay, so the Romans have been defeated there. That's very good. Now Mithridates and his son can go besiege Bithynia. Heraclea is not happy. Let's lower the tax rate. And we've got our other army here. You know what? I'll send them to uh, besiege... Oh. We've got another Roman army. So you know what? Let's fight. Okay. Now. My uh, Jav Cav and my Light Cav were kind of hit pretty hard in the last battle. And it is a bit hard to retrain them. I have to send them back. So you know what? I'll send the. I'll leave these uh, damaged uh, units in reserve. I'll keep the Jav Cav on the right flank, and I'll try to hit the enemy hard with my generals on the left and right. So let's see what the Romans plan on doing here. Let's move in.
you can definitely see, I believe this is, um, there is a Roma Serectum environments patch for this mod, um, but I'm not uh, playing with it at the moment. Um, however, you can definitely see the difference in the environments here. So these environments are more plain. Uh, they're not as taxing on the system as a Roma Serectum environment, so it's a give and take. I'm okay with these environments, really. Okay, everyone, let's march in. Throw your javelins. Other infantry. Let's move to flank. Okay, there's a cohort legionary. What is this troop? Pantodepoi. You know what? Let's uh, sandwich the Pantodopoi with our cavalry, with our general's cavalry. And let's uh, hit the enemy legionaries from the flank with uh, some javelins. Okay, Spera Ponticoi. Let's say hit the legionaries from the flank there. Nice shields for the cohorts there. Throw your javelins, please. Throw them. Please. Okay, our generals did very well. Now, generals. Let's do this. Let's charge the enemy flanks from all sides. Very nice charge. And it seems like the Roman lines have collapsed. Except for the enemy general. He's not giving up. Okay, cavalry, go chase after him. And I think that's it. We got him. Very nice indeed. And again, another look at this page. Yeah, our generals were quite effective. Mithridates, of course, was a famous commander. Fought in many battles. Okay, so this army is actually in pretty good shape. So let's, um... Let's attack Ankara. There's unrest in southern Italy. The bad conditions of a great part of Sulla's veterans established there added to the ruthless treatment given to some cities due to their participation in the social war are increasing the number of brigands in the region. region. Added to this in Campania, there are several gladiatorial training centers filled with bloodthirsty men. Mm-hmm. Okay, the Ueji are no longer fighting with Parthia. Seems like Armenia has taken uh, Seleucia from the Parthians. Where's our diplomat? Okay, diplomat. Uh, go find out 
We'll find out about Roman North Africa or something. Or, okay, fine. Come back. I'll need you. Okay. Now the Romans have not taken Pamphylia, so I still have time here to develop a little more because I don't want to be spread too thin. Okay, retinue expands, very nice. In Sinope, what should I make? Should I make sewers? Or should I save money? Oh, Heraclea. Yeah, I'm doing the right thing in Heraclea, building it up. Building up Eusebia. Nope, everything is uh, looking pretty good. I'll be done with the third phase of the auxilia in trapezus quite soon so let's end the turn spartacus it is the autumn of 73 bc during summer a gladiatorial revolt led by a gladiator of unknown origin named spartacus has arisen in southern italy Who's besieging? Oh, the Nabataeans are at war with Armenia as well. Yeah, so the Nabataeans are actually not weak. Construction report. We got communal farming in Colchis. And Trapezus finished that uh, colony building. So you know what? We should get ports going in uh, Colchis. And trapezus. Yeah, let's go for the port in uh, trapezus. Mighty general. Our general is also named Spartacus. Okay, let's besiege Ankara. And things are looking pretty good. So let's um, end the turn, see what the Romans plan on doing. All right, now we're talking. Mithridatus versus two Roman armies. Let's go. Child's play for Mithridatus. Okay, let's start deployment. There's my army. Okay, now we've got some missile troops here, so I'll leave the missile troops in the front. Let's get our Spera Ponticoi to form the main battle line. And we've got uh, Galatians on the right. And then I'll put the Sparabara in reserve on the left, just in case. Let's put our cavalry, our Cappadocian Cav, and our Pontic Cav on the right, and then Mithridatus himself on the left. So let's move our Peltists forward and our main battle line. And the Galatians, I'll move to the right. And the Cappadocians as well behind them. And I'll send the Pontic Hippocontis Tai uh, to skirmish there. And then Mithridatus. Or, okay, Sparabara move forward. And then Mithridatus and Pharnakes 
I'll move them a bit forward there. Okay, so the enemy is coming at us. So the enemy seems confused by my uh, skirmisher cav, which is good. That's what I want. Mithridatus himself. Move to the flank. Now charge at these legionaries. Very nice. Okay, the enemy's routing. Very good. Get back into the battle line. Mithridatus, chase him down, take out as many of them as possible, and then we'll move back. Okay, we've got some legionary cohorts moving against us. Move the Sparabara back, Spera Ponticoi, charge him. Okay, uh, Mithridatus, get back. You've done well so far. Peltus, move forward. Hippocontis die. Peltus, move forward a bit. Okay. Spera Ponticoi, hit the Pontodipoi there. Hit the legionary cohorts. Other Spera Ponticoi move forward. And Mithridatus. Oh. The Roman reinforcements, they're coming from the right. Okay, so I'm going to move these guys deeper into the woods. Ah, the Romans have some cavalry here. Cappadocians. You know what? Cappadocians move back. Farnakis. Go get that cavalry unit. Cappadocians, go get this other one. Okay, Mithridatus, take out those guys. Okay, Peltists. Go set up and annoy the enemy there. Where's our Cappadocian Cav? Farnakis. Disengage with those Romans, please. Where's Mithridatus? Ah, oh, you went too far. Mithridatus, come charge these legionaries. Let's break them. Okay, so they've got some legionary cohorts there. They're going to charge our Galatians. And there we go. Mithridatus took out that captain. Okay, so these Romans are done. Okay, now we've got a setup here. Let's set up in the open where I can use my cavalry more effectively. Okay, our Hippocontistai are still set to skirmish, which is good. Okay, our Cappadocians and uh, Farnakis did well against the enemy cavalry. So now come back. And let's see what we could do against 
these enemies. Where are the Galatians? Okay, here they are. Okay, enemy cohorts. Okay, Mithridatus. Move to flank again. Oh, we've got uh, elite legionaries there. Okay, so it seems like this unit is moving away. So you, Spera, go take these guys. And then you guys from the back, you'll flank the enemy legionaries there. Mithridatus, let's uh, destroy this unit. Where's Farnakis? Okay, Farnakis, come back here. Mithridatus, please. Do it. Okay, that was nasty. They're broken. Infantry, Spera Ponticoi, move forward. Where is our Galatian unit? Okay, they're holding on, which is good. Our Spera are not doing well against those cohorts in the, in the forest. Farnakis. Uh, you know what? Charge these legionaries from the back. Support the Galatians. See what we can do. Mithridatus, you set up as well. Spera Ponticoi, move in. Okay, Mithridatus, you're going to support this Spera unit that's having big problems. It's probably because they're tired. Okay, Farnakis is doing well. Okay, Spera. Mithridatus, charge these legionaries. Not a great charge, probably because of the forest around us. Farnakis, move back. Farnakis, move back faster than a snail. Cappadocians. Charge these legionaries. Okay, the Prima Legionaries are routing. Euspera, go after those cohorts. Mithridatus, where are you? Okay, you're doing well. Take out these cohorts. Enemy 
There we go. Very nice job there. An excellent battle. I told you. Two armies are no problem for Mithridates. Okay, so let's fast forward this now. Any other enemies that are running away here? Yeah, there is one. Cappadocians, go get him. And there you have it. A heroic victory. Uh, yeah, you know, if, uh, if I was to make a comment here, um, yeah, Pontic General's Cavalry, definitely uh, stronger than I would have made it. Okay, so let's uh, enslave the Bithynian populace. And okay, that's that. So, uh, unfortunately, the mod crashed, but... Uh, hopefully uh, you got a good taste of the gameplay in 77 BC and uh, yeah maybe I'll do a stream of it because uh, it's quite a good mod I really enjoy it so uh, and perhaps I'll do a Roman campaign but yeah the whole campaign very nicely scripted and everything so yep I'm glad you got to see that before it crashed um, unfortunately it happens with script heavy mods uh, sometimes so I'll see you guys in the next one.